Released back in 2014, the Intel Core i5-4690K was once a go-to chip for gamers and power users alike. With 4 cores, 4 threads, a base clock of 3.5GHz, and the ability to turbo up to 3.9GHz, this unlocked Haswell Refresh CPU packed a serious punch for its time. Built on a 22 nanometer process with 6 megabyte cache and an 84 watt TDP, it was a favorite for overclockers and budget builders. But how does it hold up today, over a decade later? Can this aging quad core still game, stream, or handle modern workloads? Let's dive into the Intel Core i5-4690K and find out if it still has any life left in 2025. So let's see how the Intel Core i5-4690K holds up to modern day benchmarks like Cinebench R23 and Geekbench 6. So starting off the benchmark here, we are starting off with Cinebench R23. I'm going to do both a multi-core and a single core test. We're going to start off with the multi-core test and see how this thing performs compared to other CPUs and what kind of temperatures we hit. So after this running for a little while, it seems that our temperatures have kind of settled down here in the top left corner. We've hit about a max of 87 degrees Celsius, which is quite hot, especially for this CPU only pulling around 60 watts. So on the multi-core test, we got a score of 2,562 which honestly isn't very high compared to a lot of other CPUs. And uh, we hit a max temp of 93 degrees Celsius with this thing only pulling around 60 watts, which is quite a high temperature for not pulling that much power. I'm going to now run a single core test and see how that does. And for the single core test, we hit a score of 849 points. So for a more real world benchmark, I'm going to run Geekbench 6, which measures more real world experiences like file compression, file transfer speeds, and multitasking. So I'm going to go ahead and run this benchmark and see how this 4690K performs. So for Geekbench 6, we got a respectable single core score of 1,145 and a multi-core score for 2,545. While this CPU is not going to give you top of the line performance, if you're on a tight budget, then this is still a great option. I have had no problem finding several of these CPUs used on eBay for around $20 and some even less. So for $20 this is a fantastic option to get into light gaming, light video editing, and multitasking for lighter tasks like schoolwork and office work.